How you doing today? This is Randy Roy with Tough Snump Technologies. What we're going to talk about today is converting imagery from photogrammetry that's been processed. There's specific files that we can take from that process, import them into ATAC, and convert them into 3D imagery that we can view in 3D ATAC. As you see right now on my device, I have 2D image of an area. When I activate the 3D, now that model appears in 3D, and I can also activate the rotation. Now I can rotate within that model in 3D. Now that we've seen a finished 3D model within ATAC, we're gonna go through the steps on where that data is located, how we import it into ATAC, and have ATAC build that 3D model so it's viewable. The first thing we need to do is create a new empty desktop folder on your computer. And I name it the location of the collect or whatever it is that we're putting into ATAC and also that it's 3D. So for this example, it was range 68 and naming it 3D. The, so the photogrammetry software that I use is Pix4D Mapper and it automatically creates its own file structure with projects that are done. And to go in and find that, I'm gonna go under the documents file folder of my computer into Pix4D. And here's the folder and file structure that it creates. And here is the project we're talking about, again, for the example, is range 68. When I open up this folder, there are subfolders. The data that we're looking for is gonna be located in number one and number two. So we'll start with number one. I'll open this. The subfolders, the first one, params, is where the data is gonna be located. I open that. And we're looking for the offset XYZ folder. And it's the second one is usually the bottom. It's a wkt.prj file. When I highlight that, and now copy them, paste them in that folder that we created. Then I go back to the main file structure of that project and number two, densification, 3D mesh. In this location, all four of these files are needed. So I'm gonna copy all four of them. Also put them in that desktop folder. Then I can close my computer file structure. I will open up this desktop folder and double check that I have six files. And there you can see all six files that are needed to put in the ATAC. Now I can close that again. Now we're gonna actually open up whatever Android device you have hooked to your computer for this file transfer. I'm using a Galaxy S10. I will locate that within the file explorer and open it. There's my S10. Open the phone structure. And then ATAC you see is one of the subfolders. The 3D information that we are transferring has to be put into the root of ATAC. So I'm simply going to draw this folder with all of our files that we just put in it and drop it into ATAC. You'll see it work there shortly. Now when I open ATAC within the phone, you see I have other 3D data and the one we just put in, range 68, when I'm passing it up, there it is, range 68 3D. That will be in the next segment on what we do with that folder now within ATEC. Okay, as you see, we're back and I've got my ATEC device loaded and turned on and we're here in Southern Pines where Tough Stump is located. And now we're gonna go in and activate this 3D data so we can view it in 3D ATEC. So I'm gonna go to my import manager by hitting the stoplight Locate Import Manager, Local SD, and Range 68 pops up. You see these two folder or files that show up are only two of the six. ATAC automatically loads four of them. So we're gonna select these two through the Import Manager by checking those boxes, hit OK. 
if that pops up, just say OK again. Then we go to the Layers drop-down and locate 3D models. There's a list of 3D models and locate range 68 again. It's already turned on, so now when I highlight it, it takes us to that location and there you see the wheel working. It's actually downloading that data, reprojecting it. There's that 2D image that we saw. Now when I turn on 3D, we see it in 3D and I will turn on the rotation capability and now I can zoom around and rotate in 3D. And now if I also go back to that overlay into 3D models at range 68 and I turn that off by unchecking the green box, there it goes back to 2D. And again, I would want to turn off the 3D and there's the normal imagery from Google Earth. Thanks for watching today. Again, my name is Randy Roy with Tough Stump Technologies. Please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos on how to integrate photogrammetry into ATAC.